Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch and welcome to the all new C++ IDE Sea Lion. All right, you know that I'm probably lying at this point in time because Sea Lion has been around for a number of years. And there are some things that people did not like about Sea Lion, specifically the old Java core caused it to be a little bit slow. Uh, that is actually changing. So what we're looking at is a new version of Sea Lion. Go ahead, check it out over here. And about you will see this is Sea Lion 2023.3 EAP Nova. So this is Sea Lion Nova. Existing Sea Lion is going to become Sea Lion Classic. And at some point in the future, they will merge back together. So what is this? Well, this is C++, JetBrains, uh, C++ IDE, uh, but now with a new core. It's using the same core as Rider and Resharper, as well as their custom Clang D uh, fork. We'll get to some of those details in just a second. But basically, you can think of it as a stronger, faster, younger version of C Lion. And all of the same things that you like about C Lion, all the various different refactoring tools, they are all here as well. If you are looking for a nice, solid C++ IDE that isn't Visual Studio, Studio, C Lion seems to be the most popular option out there. Uh, and again, one of the biggest complaints has always been the performance factor. Uh, and this new version, uh, the, you're going to th find things like finding in code and then just straight out refactoring. So if I came in here and refactored this guy out to uh, something new, like so, you're going to find the refactoring tools are so much faster than they used to be. So if you're looking for a C++ IDE, uh, this is a new version of an existing IDE called C Lion Nova. Now let's get to the details of that. All right, so here we are on the JetBrains, JetBrains, JetBrains blog, uh, the announcement of C Lion. So like I said earlier on, uh, it's a fork uh, with a new underlying back end. Unfortunately, you do need to use their annoying toolbox app if you want to go ahead and check this guy out. So do make sure that you've got that installed. It's literally the only way to get C Lion Nova on your machine. Uh, the cool thing here is it is free. Well, it is an early access preview. So if you just want to go ahead and check out C Lion at this point in time, this is an opportunity to use it for free for a while. Uh, if you're already using C Lion, you can do side by side installs of them. So basically, C Lion started out as from App Code. Now, App Code was a cross platform version from their IntelliJ platform. IntelliJ is a Java based ID written in Java, definitely got some performance ramifications from that aspect. Uh, so they ported this App Code over to make a C IDE, which was ultimately called. Sea Lion. Uh, now, Sea Lion itself, again, built on that legacy core. Then over time, they built this Clang D fork uh, that they use for their own internal refactoring. So they've also got other options out there. So they've got Resharper, which is a Windows only Visual Studio plugin for C refactoring tools. And then on top of that, you've got Rider. Now, if you're on this channel and you are a game developer, you're probably more interested in Rider than you are in Sea Lion. Sea Lion is very specifically for generalized C development, whereas Rider is for C, uh, C Sharp and C++ and a couple other, like it actually can handle blueprints from Unreal Engine, etc. Rider is very much focused on game development, but that also includes C++. Well, what they're doing is they're taking the engine from both of those, from Resharper and from Rider, and they're incorporating it into C Lion. And that is how we got C Lion Nova. So uh, they're looking to address the longstanding performance and quality issues of C Lion caused by the legacy engine. That is the old school Java engine underneath it and unifying the experience across all their C++ tools. So C Lion, Rider, and Resharper should have similar experiences going forward because they're based off the same basic technologies. So the benefits of this is going to be, it's going to use two language engines, the Clang D fork that they've got already, and then the one from Resharper and Rider. Uh, so most of the features of C Lion Classic should work the same way they do now, but you are going to see some benefits immediately. So you're going to get uh, faster highlighting speeds, especially in the case of incremental code updates, a more responsive UI, faster find usages, uh, significantly fewer freezes and hangs in refactoring and faster test indexing. Uh, the unification also brings some new functions to C Lion Nova that aren't included in C Lion Classic. So C Lion Classic isn't going to get this new functionality. C Lion Nova is, but eventually, again, C Lion Nova and Classic will merge back into being a single product, hopefully sometime in 2024, depending on how this goes. But you're getting new refactoring tools such as introduce field, introduce name, uh, namespace alias, introduce using enumeration and convert to scoped enumeration, uh, new inspections, quick fixes, uh, 
the replace auto with explicit type declaration and sorting of include directives and new code hints like preprocessor directive hints and push to hint mode. Uh, so you're also going to have some differences between C Lion Classic and C Lion Nova. Uh, Nova doesn't use the Clang D for core features like code completion or highlighting. That's going to be powered by the Resharper engine instead. Uh, however, JetBrains is still going to use the Clang D fork for things such as formatting, tidy, uh, MISRA checks, data flow analysis, etc. So a few things we're going to uh, look and feel new to C-Line Classic users when starting Nova. Uh, those include uh, the IDE reacts differently when typing. Using UI elements and settings related to code insight features might look unusual or be found in unfamiliar locations. Some code-related settings might have different default values in C-Line Nova. On first launch, it will migrate uh, some of your per-project settings and per-application settings from C-Line Classic, but not all of them. And switching between language configurations, debug release may require more time for the code insight engine to catch up uh, and resharper c++ is windows only while rider is cross-platform still the resharper c++ slash rider engine might not support non-windows environments as seamlessly as windows one so you may actually find initially c lion nova runs better on windows platforms but that's kind of uh the announcement here so um there's, there is definitely some missing functionality right now. Uh, several options exist to set up remote work in C-Line. Remote work with local sources is uh, supported in C-Line, while remote work with a thin client is not yet. The Objective-C, CUDA, and some vendor-specific compiler extensions are not yet supported. Uh, some uh, intentions and quick fixes like simplify statement are not supported at present. Some less popular refactoring are also missing. We are planning to introduce the move and inline parameter refactoring at a later date. And JetBrains AI Assistant is not yet available for C-Line Nova. And this is actually one of their star new features. Basically, they have a code assistant, chat GPT powered code assistant uh, built into C-Lion and Rider and other tools. It's not in C-Lion Nova yet. Now, as I mentioned earlier on, unfortunately, you do have to install the JetBrains toolbox. They have not made this available as a download uh, in any other way. Uh, key thing is, once again, though, even though you may require a login, you can use it for free until it merges back with C Lion, and they're going to be publishing regular updates along the way. Uh, so, compared to C Lion Classic, Nova brings a more responsive UI, better overall IDE performance, and increased feature quality, especially with C code refactoring. And yeah, so they want you to go ahead and check it out. Once again, this is C Lion Nova. It should look very, very much like C Lion. It, it's basically, as we just saw, more or less the same game engine. The, the big difference, sorry, the same uh, code editor or IDE. The big difference is obviously the, the tooling behind the scenes and then the ramifications that I've had. But there's definitely some things that are missing right now from C Lion uh, Nova that are still in C Lion Classic. But the good news is you can install them side by side. So you don't have to commit fully. And if you've never checked out C Lion before, this is a good opportunity to do so because you can get the early access preview into sometime in 2024 uh, completely free if you want. Unfortunately, again, you do need to install their toolbox. But that is really the only uh, gotcha here. So if you're looking for a C++ IDE for more general purpose game development, work. Uh, sea Lion could be a good pickup, could be good time to check it out again because this early access preview is available for free. Uh, but most game developers are probably more interested in Rider, if I'm completely honest. So ladies and gentlemen, Sea Lion Nova, what do you think? What do you think of uh, JetBrains products in general? I know the biggest complaint generally tends to revolve around that uh, Java core and the performance ramifications of it. So the fact that they're moving away from that more and more, I think it's going to make some people happy. But I'm curious, what do you think? Sea Lion, Sea Lion Nova, let me know. Comments down below. Talk to you all later. Goodbye.